After eliminating Big Boss, Solid Snake was relieved of duty, retiring to Alaska, where he planned to live out his years in peace and solitude. But fate had other plans. A second clone of Big Boss appeared, Liquid Snake. Allow me to shed some light on the so-called Shadow Moses incident. The crisis that would make Solid Snake a hero to the world. It all began with an unprecedented crisis. The hijacking of a nuclear weapon. In 2005, the Special Forces Unit stationed in Alaska on the remote Shadow Moses Island staged a revolt. Their ringleaders were Liquid Snake and the new members of Foxhound. Taking hostages and securing the island's nuclear weapons disposal facility, they issued demands to the White House. At the top of their list, Pandora's box. The corpse of Big Boss. The military summoned Solid Snake, formerly of Foxhound, and ordered him to infiltrate the island alone. He unearthed a secret buried beneath the island's frozen snow-swept surface. A bipedal nuclear tank. Metal Gear Rex. Liquid had seized Rex while it was still under development by the US military. Once again, nuclear war threatened the world. The old foxhound battled the new. Solid grappled with Liquid, and finally, Rex itself. Even in death, their father, Big Boss, brought their fates inextricably together. Their careers, their combat experience, were nearly identical. Liquid was the yin to Solid's yang. Civilians and soldiers alike celebrated Solid Snake as a hero, while Liquid dirtied his hands executing classified black ops. Although he too was a son of Big Boss, Liquid was forced to hide in history's wings. Contempt for his fate only deepened his hatred for Solid Snake. Liquid sought the remains of Big Boss, his predecessor, in order to cure his diseased existence. The cursed twins, Solid and Liquid, were reunited as family in front of Metal Gear Rex, but certain powers did not approve. Those organizations conspired to hide the whole affair and brought the battle to an abrupt and unexpected end. Fate had separated the twins once more, seemingly for good. If these events seem deliberately staged, the players manipulated, then they expose a sinister mystery, one brought to light by Solid Snake's paper trail. A group seeking nothing short of global slavery, the Patriots. A surprise attack on United States soil, the Big Shell Incident, first made me aware of their presence. This incident began with terrorists hijacking an oil tanker on the Hudson River. led by Solid Snake. In response, the Navy sent Marines to the tanker to take back what was theirs.
In the ensuing battle, the tanker sank, taking Snake along with it. The Hudson is still polluted with oil. They say it could take hundreds of years to disperse. Unbeknownst to the public, the stage had been set. Two years later, a cleanup facility, the Big Shell, was built. Crisis loomed again as the US president was touring the facility. Solid Snake, previously presumed dead, again led a terrorist unit, this time occupying the Big Shell with the president as their hostage. In response, the US military sent a rookie Foxhound agent into the Big Shell on a solo sneaking mission. His code name was Raiden. His mission had just barely commenced when he made a surprising discovery. Solid Snake. But this snake was no terrorist. Someone else was using his name. Framed as a criminal, Snake had infiltrated the Big Shell on his own, determined to expose and undermine the true terrorists. It was then revealed that the ringleader of the Big Shell hijacking wasn't Solid Snake. Rather, the man behind the attacks was none other than the third of Big Boss's sons, a perfect clone codenamed Solidus Snake. Raiden's early life as a child soldier was one orchestrated by Solidus Snake, 